First Chronicles chapter 1. Adam, Seth, Enosh, Kenan, Mahalalel, Jared, Enoch, Methuselah, Lamech, Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. The descendants of Japheth, Gomer, Magog, Madai, Javan, Tubal, Meshech, and Tiras. The descendants of Gomer, Ashkenaz, Diphath, and Togarma. The descendants of Javan, Elisha, Tarshish, Kittim, and Rodanum. The descendants of Ham, Cush, Egypt, Put, and Canaan. The descendants of Cush, Seba, Havila, Sabta, Rama, and Sabteca. The descendants of Rama, Sheba, and Dedan. Cush became the father of Nimrod. He was the first to be a mighty one on the earth. Egypt became the father of Ludim, Anamim, Lahaban, Naphtuhim, Pathrusim, Kasluhim, and Kaphtorim, from whom the Philistines come. Canaan became the father of Sidon, his firstborn, and Heth, and the Jebusites, the Amorites, the Girgashites, the Hivites, the Archites, the Sinites, the Arvidites, the Zimmerites, and the Hamathites. The descendants of Shem, Elam, Aser, Arpachshad, Lud, Aram, Uz, Hul, Gether, and Meshech. Arpachshad became the father of Shelah, and Shelah became the father of Eber. To Eber were born two sons. The name of the one was Peleg, for in his days the earth was divided. And the name of his brother, Joktan. Joktan became the father of Almadad. Shelaf, Hazarmaveth, Jera, Hadoram, Uzal, Dikla, Ebal, Abimel, Sheba, Ophir, Havila, and Jobab. All these were the descendants of Joktan. Shem, Arpachshad, Shela, Aber, Peleg, Ru, Sarag, Nahor, Terah, Abram, that is, Abraham. The sons of Abraham, Isaac, and Ishmael. These are their genealogies. The firstborn of Ishmael, Nebaioth, and Kedar, Abdil, Mibsam, Mishma, Duma, Masa, Hadad, Tima, Jeter, Nephish, and Kadima. These are the sons of Ishmael. The sons of Keturah, Abraham's concubine, Shebor, Zimran, Jokshan, Medan, Midian, Ishbak, and Shua. The sons of Jokshan, Sheba, and Dedan. The sons of Midian, Epha, Epher, Hanok, Abida, and Elda. All these were the descendants of Keturah. Abraham became the father of Isaac. The sons of Isaac, Esau, and Israel. The sons of Esau, Eliphaz, Reuel, Jeush, Jalem, and Korah. The sons of Eliphaz, Teman, Omar, Zephi, Getam, Kenaz, Timnah, and Amalek. The sons of Reuel, Nahath, Zerah, Shammah, and Mizah. The sons of Seir, Lotan, Shobal, Zibion, Ana, Dishon, Ezer, and Dishan. The sons of Lotan, Horah, and Homam, and Lotan's sister was Timnah. The sons of Shobal, Alian, Manahath, Abal, and Shepha, and Onam. The sons of Zibion, Aiah, and Anna. The sons of Anna, Dishon. The sons of Dishon, Hamran, Eshban, Ithran, and Cheran. The sons of Ezer, Bilhan, Zavan, and Jakan. The sons of Dishan, Uz, and Aran. These are the kings who reigned in the land of Edom before any king reigned over the Israelites. Bela, son of Beor, whose city was called Dinhaba. When Bela died, Jobab, son of Zerah of Bozrah, succeeded him. When Jobab died, Husham of the land of the Temanites succeeded him. When Husham died, Hadad, son of Bedad, who defeated Midian in the country of Moab, succeeded him. And the name of his city was Avith. 
When Hadad died, Samla of Masreka succeeded him. When Samla died, Shal of Rehoboth on the Euphrates succeeded him. When Shal died, Baalhanan, son of Akbor, succeeded him. When Baalhanan died, Hadad succeeded him. The name of his city was Pei, and his wife's name, Mechatabel, daughter of Matred, daughter of Mizahab, and Hadad died. The clans of Edom were clans Timna, Eliah, Jetheth, Aholabama, Elah, Penan, Kenaz, Teman, Mibzar, Magdiel, and Aram. These are the clans of Edom. First Chronicles chapter 2 These are the sons of Israel. Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Issachar, Zebulun, Dan, Joseph, Benjamin, Naphtali, Gad, and Asher. The sons of Judah, Ur, Onan, and Shelah. These three, the Canaanite women, Bathshua, bore to him. Now Ur, Judah's firstborn, was wicked in the sight of the Lord, and he put him to death. His daughter-in-law, Tamar, also bore him Perez and Zerah. Judah had five sons in all. The sons of Perez, Hezron and Hamul. The sons of Zerah, Zimri, Ethan, Heman, Calcol, and Dara, five in all. The sons of Karma, Acher, the troubler of Israel, who transgressed in the matter of the devoted thing, and Ethan's son was Azariah. The sons of Hezron, who were born to him, Jeremiel, Ram, and Chelebai. Ram became the father of Amenadab, and Amenadab became the father of Nashon, prince of the sons of Judah. Nashon became the father of Salma, Salma of Boaz, Boaz of Obed, Obed of Jesse. Jesse became the father of Eliab, his firstborn, Abinadab the second, Shemiah the third, Nathanael the fourth, Radai the fifth, Ozium the sixth, David the seventh, and their sisters were Zerui and Abigail, the sons of Zerui, Abishai, Joab, and Asahel. Three. Abigail bore Amasa, and the father of Amasa was Jether the Ishmaelite. Caleb, son of Hezron, had children by his wife Azuba, and by Jeraoth. These were her sons, Jeshur, Shobab, and Ardon. When Azuba died, Caleb married Ephrath, who bore him Hur. Hur became the father of Uri, and Uri became the father of Bezalel. Afterward, Hezron went into the daughter of Machur, father of Gilead, whom he married when he was sixty years old, and she bore him Segub, and Segub became the father of Jair, who had twenty-three towns in the land of Gilead. But Gesher and Aram took from them havoth Jair, Kenath, and its villages, sixty towns. All these were descendants of Machur, father of Gilead. After the death of Hezron in Caleb Ephrathah, Abijah, wife of Hezron, bore him Asher, father of Tekoa. The sons of Jeremiel, the firstborn of Hezron, Ram, his firstborn, Buna, Oren, Ozium, and Ahijah. Jeremiel also had another wife, whose name was Atara. She was the mother of Onam. The sons of Ram, the firstborn of Jeremiel, Maz, Jamin, and Eker. The sons of Onam, Shemai, and Jada. The sons of Shemai, Nadab, and Abahashur. The name of Abashur's wife was Abahel and she bore him Aban and Molid, the sons of Nadab, Selad, and Apaim, and Selad died childless. The son of Apaim, Ishi, the son of Ishi, Shishan, the son of Shishan, Eli, the sons of Jada, Shammai's brother, Jether, and Jonathan, and Jether died childless. The sons of Jonathan, Peleth, and Zaza, these were the descendants of Jeremiel. Now Sheshan had no sons, only daughters. But Sheshan had an Egyptian slave, whose name was Jara. 
So Sheshan gave his daughter in marriage to his slave Jara, and she bore him a tie. A tie became the father of Nathan, and Nathan of Zabad, and Zabad became the father of Ephlal, and Ephlal of Obed. Obed became the father of Jehu, and Jehu of Azariah. Azariah became the father of Helez, and Helez of Elisa. Elisa became the father of Sismai, and Sismai of Shalom. Shalom became the father of Jechemiah, and Jechemiah of Elishama. The sons of Caleb, brother of Jeremiel, Mesha his firstborn, who was father of Ziph. The sons of Merashah, father of Hebron. The sons of Hebron, Korah, Tapua, Rechem, and Shema. Shema became father of Raham, father of Jorkim, and Rechem became the father of Shemai. The son of Shemai, Maon, and Maon was the father of Beth Zur. Epha also, Caleb's concubine, bore Haran, Moza, and Gazez, and Haran became the father of Gazez. The sons of Jadai, Regim, Jotham, Geshen, Pelet, Epha, and Shaph. Maka, Caleb's concubine, bore Sheber and Tirhana. She also bore Shaph, father of Madmana, Sheva, father of Machbena, and father of Gibeah, and the daughter of Caleb was Aksa. These were the descendants of Caleb. The sons of Hur, the firstborn of Ephrathah, Shobal, father of Kiriath Jerim, Salma, father of Bethlehem, and Hareph, father of Beth Gader. Shobal, father of Kiriath Jerim, had other sons Haroi, half of the Minuhoth, and the families of Kiriath Jerim, the Ithrites, the Puthites, the Shumathites, and the Mishraites. From these came the Zorathites and the Eshtaolites. The sons of Salma, Bethlehem, the Natolafim, the sons of Salma, Bethlehem, the Natafathites, Atroth, Beth, Joab, and half of the Manahathites, the Zorites. The families also of the scribes that lived at Jabez, the Tirathites, the Shemiathites, and the Sukathites. These are the Kenites who came from Hamath, father of the house of Rechab.